If you're the admin of a Podbean business or enterprise plan account, you can let private members access Podbean by signing in via a central identity provider. With single sign-on SSO, you can put the identity provider that your organization is currently using, with whom you already trust, and is in charge of authentication. Private members can access Podbean without another password to manage. Here is how to set up SSO with Podbean. Log into your Podbean organization dashboard. On the left-hand column, navigate to Settings, SSO Login. Download the Podbean SSO metadata file into your Podbean account and give it to your SSO admin. Get your company SSO IDP metadata file from your SSO admin and upload it into your Podbean account. In order to enable SSO, Podbean needs the following from your identity provider. An SSO IDP metadata file containing all of the following. Entity ID, connection ID, or external key, redirect URL, and a public certificate. You'll also need a test account which can be used to test the SSO login. Only name ID is required in your SSO login SAML response. We don't require any other special attributes in SSO login. Set your organization's email domain. Once SSO is enabled, users can sign into Podbean by entering your organization's name. On the podbean.com website, the alternative option is to enter the email domain. You can also edit the auto-populated organization name if necessary now. Type in your test account username and test account password. This account will be used to test SSO login after we complete the SSO setup for your organization. Click Enforce SSO if you would like to have users only able to access the podcast using your company's SSO. Click Add Another SSO Login if you would like to add another SSO login credential. Click Submit. Here's how to test your SSO. Download the Podbean Pro app for free from the App Store or from the Google Play Store. Enter your organization's name, then click Next. Click SSO Login. You'll be directed to your company's SSO portal. Log in using your company's username and password. You should now be able to access your company's podcast using your company's SSO. What is the user experience for SSO login with Podbean? First, your users enter your organization's name. Then, they will be redirected to your identity provider's sign-in page, where they can enter their SSO login credentials. Once they pass the authentication step, they will be redirected back to the Podbean app or Podbean site and will be able to access the content they are authorized. Will Podbean work with our system? What identity providers do you support? Podbean uses the secure and widely adopted industry standard security assertion markup language, also known as SAML, which means our implementation of SSO integrates easily with any identity provider or organization that supports SAML 2.0. If you've built your own SAML-based federated authentication process, we integrate with that as well. After initiating SSO, what happens to computers and mobile devices that are already linked to Podbean accounts? All computers and mobile devices that are already linked to Podbean accounts will continue to work normally when you enable single sign-on. If users need to relink a device or link a new one, they can use SSO login or their Podbean account email and password combination that they've used before. How do we manage SSO login users? Users are automatically added into your private member list after they log in using SSO. You can view and manage the members in your dashboard. You can delete, manage group permissions, and more. SSO users can be added with just-in-time provisioning in Podbean. Podbean automatically creates a user account and links it to your Podbean account on the first time login with your organization's SSO.